Hey everybody, I'm almost done with my stones or stoned hood and crooks model. One of the Von Franco's. The only thing I gotta do is paint the body. It kinda looks cool with the you know it kinda looks right right with the primer, but I'm not gonna do that. I got the figure painted, he's not glued together and everything. Because uh, you gotta take them apart and kind of assemble them in the body and then assemble everything else together. Well, um, three handed deals. So you can see them in there chilling. I'm also gonna wire the engine. I gotta scratch build a distributor cap and do some wiring. Right, give it a little bit more life. Since this is a blown Hemi, I already got the holes drilled in the Valve covers. I do red wires, some black boots. I had my first coat on this before and I had to strip the body. Kind of rushed it. It's got to be gloss black because I'm going to do the color shift. I don't remember which one I got. I think it's a blue and dark blue. Or blue and purple, light blue and purple. I figured with this, with the big the big body, you get a lot of shifting in the colors. Really show it off. Uh, up here you can see I painted the shifter. I brush painted that. Turned out really nice. Got a nice glossy coat to it. And make it look like it's wood grain. I wanted the engine to look like a, a race engine, one that they didn't paint the engine any colors. But as it's sitting in here, I kind of wish I did. I think I would look better with the black color, give it a little bit more contrast. So, I might try to paint that. I will have to pop off the radiator and the belt. I did glue those in. Or I might just mask them off. That way I have nice crisp lines. So for the monster, I dry brushed him, used acrylic paints, I dry, dry brushed him multiple colors of green. Um, his eyes are white with yellow edges and red pupils, and hand painted his mouth with acrylic paints. Um, let's see if I can move my light. Damn, light up a little bit better. There you can see them a little bit better. You can see the dry brushing. Another cool thing I did when I dry brushed the uh, fire. Started off with the base coat, red, that dark red, and then dry brushed with an orange, and then a yellow, and then very lightly hit some white on it, on the tips. So. There's the other side. I did a time lapse, so if you guys haven't done dry brushing you can see how easy it is to do. I usually do it on my interiors and stuff like this. And if you want to give it a protective coat you actually can cover that acrylic paint with uh, the rest oleum so you can do a gloss or a flat. That works pretty good. I do a very light dusting on the first coat just to kind of not over wet it because it is acrylic and if you soak it it will it will run and bleed a little bit but if you do a super light dusting let that cure and then do a little bit twice as heavy I guess on the second one so it's still a dusting by that by your third coat you can actually you know shoot it normal you can see the texture on the primer there. 
It looks pretty cool. Let me get the light out of it. It's washing it out. See, it does look pretty cool. It's got a texture. Kind of looks like a rat rod. And then with the monster in there, it kind of looks cool. But I don't, I don't really know. Times like this, you kind of wish you had two of them, because then you could just do a, do one one way and do one the other way. To me, it just kind of looks unfinished like this. But I mean, there is a monster driving it, and he wouldn't have probably the Christmas clean his car. You'd be all out for speed. So that's a pretty fun kit. Nice change of pace. Should have a time lapse after this. Show you some of the steps. I don't remember how much I actually recorded, but uh, hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think. And uh, next time would probably be the finished thing. So we'll see what I decide. Stick with this or go with something different. If I do stick with this, I'll chrome the lights, paint the lights. Probably paint them red, and I'm gonna crumb the grill. Um, at least do that. Apply some decals. I'll apply the decals that come with the kit. Um, I'll probably paint this black or something, just to make it look like it's meant to be like that, and not just tossed together. You know, hell with it. Also have the engine wired up. I was thinking of doing some linkages on the carbs, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. Just keep it like that. Sometimes you put too much detail on these that don't turn out that well. Alright guys, talk to you later.